friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I'd like to show you how to make these cute little radishes on a seesaw. I was inspired by this seed packet and this little drawing, so I thought I would take my watercolors and make my own. So go grab a set of watercolors and a watercolor brush. Something with a tip is helpful and let's get started. First thing you want to do is activate your paints. Put a little water on those paints. I'm going to put this over here side. Okay, so you want to get your brush wet and the first thing we're going to do is paint the radishes. Okay, and if you notice one is up a little higher and one is down. So you want to get some red paint and you want it kind of wet. Okay. Then we're going to paint a circle. I'm going to outline the circle first, and if it's not a perfect circle, that's okay. And I'm going to leave some white at the bottom. That's going to be the bottom of the radish. It's kind of white. And just for added dimension, I'm going to put a little touch of orange. This is called wet on wet. So the, the wet paint will mix with the wet paint. Then I'm going to paint the brown seesaw. And we need to paint this at a diagonal. So start where this little guy would be sitting and go straight down. Now you want to try not to touch because if your wet paint touches your wet paint, then it will leak. So you can see it did a little bit, but that's okay. And we're gonna do the next one. So get some more red. And he's gonna be down here at the bottom of the seesaw. Ooh, he's a little not so round, but that's okay. And then fill in some color, leave a little bit of white again. Actually, radishes come in all kinds of shapes, so if it's not perfectly round, that's fine. Okay, you can see a little bit is bleeding into the brown. Um, if you don't like that, you can just take a Kleenex or a tissue and just put it on top of that and soak it up. All right, now we're going to the brown again and we're going to add the triangle, the base. Now this is gonna need to be at the same, about the same level as this. It doesn't go all the way down. This is just for fun, so it doesn't have to be exactly right. I mean, really, do you ever see radishes on a seesaw? No, so it's just for fun. Now, I'm going to let this dry, and after it dries, we're going to add the next steps. Now that the radishes are dry, we're going to paint on their cute little cartoon faces. So you're going to want to get some black paint and a very fine brush. And you want them to be looking at each other, so I'm going to do kind of an upside down U, the curved line, and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a spot of white and paint the pupil. I'm going to paint another one right here. You could add the eyes however you want. Just one way. And then a couple little eyebrows. A little more paint. I'm going to give them a little nose. And then a smiley face with a little curve for a cheek. Okay, there's that one. I could add eyelashes if you want it to look like a girl. They do that in cartoons, even though eyelashes are in boys too. Now this one's going to look up this direction. So I'm going to make a little cheek. It got a little bit thick. That's okay. The thing with watercolors is you have to just kind of go with it. Be flexible. You never know how they're going to turn out. A little eye over here. And a couple eyebrows, and more paint, and a nose, and a smile. They're having a lot of fun on this seesaw. Now, I also am just going to add a few little lines around the outside just kind of to define the radish a little bit more. You don't have to add these lines. I notice I'm not going all the way around, I'm just adding a few. 
Okay, next is the fun part. Get a little bit thicker brush, get some water on it. We're gonna do their, their radish leaf hair, okay? So you get some paint and you start at the top and then you pull your brush. That's why this tip is important. You can make a thin line and then if you push it down, whoops, a little more water. If you push it down, you can make a thick line. So I'm just gonna add kind of a wild hairdo on this radish. It's really fun. You can do whatever you want with the cartoon. All right. Next we need to have some arms. So again, get some more green on there. And we're gonna have it overlap. That's why you wanna let this radish dry. And just paint some very simple little arms and then the leg is coming out of the bottom of the radish and he or she is sitting on the seesaw now this one's going to go behind and you're just going to see a little peekaboo part of the foot great now we're going to do this one same same type of thing all right so get some more green go to the top then line and then this one's hair is going to go back this way Radishes are very interesting. If you pull them out of the ground, you never know what they're gonna look like. Some are long, some are short and round. They're a pretty strong flavor. Okay, now this one needs, the little arm is gonna go down to the seesaw. If it's not dark enough, just add more paint. And then this leg's gonna bend down, get a little foot. Oh, he's cute. And then this back leg is gonna be back there. And I'm not gonna paint the other arm because that that's just behind him. You can paint it if you want. All right, there, now we just need to add a little bit of background. So we're gonna mix a little yellow and green. And I'm just gonna put the illusion of some grass here. more in the background, back here. So they're having a fun day in the sunshine, on the playground maybe. And then get some blue, and just, I'm gonna add a few clouds. So a good way to paint clouds, just leave some outline like a shape, and then just pull the paint across. want to give the illusion of clouds happening. You don't have to paint every detail. Now if you want to add a little bit of action lines, get your thin brush again and add a little black and then you could come to the side and you could put some lines by their hands. It looks like their hands moving. Maybe down here. Make like the Teeter totter seesaw is moving. And there you have it. Two little radishes having a fun day. If you had a fun day, please subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hi friends, let's pick this radish.